Welcome back 524 a new twist on an older scam dubbed the emergency scam. Maybe you've heard of it. It's tricking folks out of a lot of cash. Maybe even you an emergency scam is basically when you get a phone call from someone posing as your grandchild or another young family member. Then the phony grandchild claims to be out of town and an emergency situation. This can be anything from a car accident to a wrongful arrest. The scam artist then urges you to send money as soon as possible. And what they do is they make it seem like an emergency. You don't have time to contact anyone else in the family to confirm the whereabouts of the grandchild. You don't have time to um, verify the details. You just need help right away because if you think your grandchild is sitting in jail or out of the country or in tax trouble, you want to help. And so you're going to get that money to over, over to them right away. And that's what they're banking on. So according to a new study, older scam victims are reporting the highest median losses. These scams are targeting seniors in a new way because of neighborhood call spoofing techniques that we've talked about here on CBS 5 this morning. This is where you receive a call that looks like it's coming from a familiar number or at least one that matches your area code. I think we've probably all gotten uh, them at some point in time. So today, CBS 5, we're going to be tackling scams all day long in each of our shows. You just heard about the emergency scam. So coming up at noon, I'm going to talk you through ransomware scams and a new twist on that. Then at 5 and 6 this evening, Morgan Lowe is going to take on romance scams, including fake profiles on the Tinder app. And then at 10, he'll explain how crooks.